okay, you have gone to your toilet. I don't have time to go to toilet some more. I cannot have time to drink water. Also. So now let's continue. Uh, let's continue. Practical example. Uh, what is the first thing you do when you are given a task to design for foundation? Okay. Who is going to apply for PE? Oh, I know one here. Kali. Where's Kali? Kali, you are here? Yes, sir. Ah, okay. So today I give you a job to design the new MBS hotel. More than 30 story. What's the first thing you will do? Check the ground condition. Okay, check the ground. How you check the ground condition? Uh, do SI. Okay, you do SI. Before you do SI, before you do SI then? Uh, if I want to have a brief, uh, uh, a rough concept, I can refer to Singapore Geological Map and also the nearby any any available for lock. Okay, good. Perfect. 100 point, 100 marks answer. The first thing you do is to refer to the geology of Singapore. And in all soil investigation report, okay, they are supposed to attach this geology of Singapore. To also, they are also supposed to tell us the location of the site of this geology of Singapore. But uh, many times, uh, I see report, many SI company, they take shortcut. They just throw this whole map of Singapore here. They don't bother to pinpoint where they do the SI investigation. Correct or not? Brian? Brian? Yes, 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 yes. Correct right. right. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Alex, eh? Why not? I see so many SI report. Nobody bother to do. Let me show you why is it important. Huh? Let me show you why it's important. I tell you one very simple thing. Now, how you find your how you find where okay. Now technology very advanced. You go to Google Map. Okay, you go to Google Map. You key in the address of the site. In this case, I key in this address called 15 Holland Hill. Okay, 15 Holland Hill. Because there's a new project launch here. So 15 Holland Hill. Okay. You can actually purchase SI from Singapore government now today. It's free. Okay, it's free now. Huh? If you will notice, huh, this is exactly, if you look at Georgia map here, Georgia map don't have all the roads name. Uh, okay, it only has some important road name like Holland Flyover. You see this, this, if you can see this location, it's actually here. And the blue color here, it means the soil is Jurong Formation. But you notice this location is also very near to the Pukitima Formation. The red color here is Pukitima Formation. Follow my cursor. Huh? This is Jurong Formation. This is the site location. Now this is the actual ball lock. You notice this ball lock? He tell you it's Pukitima, then suddenly change to Jurong Formation, then suddenly change to Pukitima. Complicated, right? Who write all this description? Do you know? Supposedly to be the geologist, right? But you see, uh, if you don't refer to the geological map and you blindly follow this thing, uh, you're going to have difference. Though. I asked the polling contractor, Kelvin. Jurong Formation rock easy to call or Bukit Timah Formation rock easy to call? Assuming the same weathering rate. Uh, Jurong Formation easy to call. Correct, right? Yeah. Yes. So today you get the project. They more lock tell you it's Bukit Timah Formation. Then on site, wow, you hit, hey, how come the rock so easy to call? You thought it's, then find out actually it's Jurong Formation. You happy, right? Because very few have finished your work, right? Very easy to complete your job. But the design all wrong, right? 
You understand where I'm coming from? So this is the first most important thing that once you are given a financial, you must always check this. Okay, so you know what kind of ground you are dealing with. Okay, can ah? Even for SI companies, the same thing ah. Brian and Alex ah. Your client asks you to drill a location. You don't know how to code. You don't know whether got rock, no rock. The first thing you check your chicken map. Because you don't know what you're expecting, right? If you don't check this, you don't know what you're expecting, actually. And Singapore, many this kind of condition, uh, actually. You thought it's like that, uh. a lot of SI companies never check through carefully. Now, what's the second thing you do? Eh, I give you the answer. Refer to the checklist. Remember, I sent you the BCA AC checklist, right? Which is this checklist? Very simple checklist. Okay, for those overseas and students, you don't understand. In, in Singapore system, the designer who, after he, they design, they're supposed to pass to another checker, which is also another PE to check this PE design. Okay, so BCA has tell us that these are the five minimum items we need to check. Okay, five minimum items. Huh? I go through one by one to you because I'm, I'm the, always the one checking. If you don't do this thing, I try to throw back the design to you. I can tell you, uh, until today, we taught ball power design very straightforward. But a lot of people still cannot do ball power design. Properly, uh, properly. Compliance, compliance. Now, you, you take note, uh, the underlying thing. The first thing BCA want to ensure, do you have enough SI, adequacy of the SI? Meaning, the number enough or not? The location in, correct or not? The debt enough or not? The laboratory test you do sufficient or not? Now, you see the BCIS advisory note, which I already shared with you earlier on. Second thing, the next table, this table, the guideline on identification of rock during ball point. This thing fresh, 2019, last year only. Okay? We noticed that a lot of projects with rock face a lot of problems on site. Because why? As I show, wow, G2 rock, G3 rock. You call, 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 come out, huh? all like fragment like that. The site engineer, the RE, RTO say, hey, I cannot confirm this is really G3 rock or G2 rock. You know? They say this thing like soil. Because your calling machine, huh? your call barrel is so powerful, you call until the rock, huh? until like soil like that. They say this thing is not rock, no? it's soil. All right, Kevin. Yes. You have this kind of problem, right? Yes, yes. Where is the another contact? Ah, I got one more from Keller. Where's the guy from Keller? Sel Selvan, what? Ah? Are you here? The guy from Selvan, Selvan something, uh, an Indian gentleman. Are you here? From Keller Foundation. Not here. Okay, never mind. So, so, BC already tell you to solve this problem already. You need to satisfy these seven criteria on site and before site to confirm it's wrong. Okay? I let you to read through uh, because I also don't have time to go through with you. Now, I just want to pinpoint the last two. Why slick test and point load test index? Burmese produce a lot of geologists. Okay? Geologists is good to identify wedding weight. Slick test, uh, slick test actually is a very simple test. That means you take the rock, throw inside the water and see whether the rock actually disintegrate or not. If it's disintegrate, right, it's considered a completely weather rock, which is last time we call G4, uh, a Roman uh, number G4. But actually now it's called G3, uh, numeric uh, Arabic number G3. And why point load test? Point load test is also a very simple test. Okay, you can just take a core, that means after the core barrel, take out the rock, you can just take one simple sample and go and test it. Okay, you can simply go and test it and find out and correlate with the unconfined compression strength. I hope you can remember uh, why I say unconfined compression strength. Uh. Now, second item, you need to review the site investigation results 
angiotensical parameters such as soil strength and deformation characteristic. Well, if you understand, just now we've gone through alpha CU method, beta gamma prime method. These are all geotechnical parameters that we're supposed to go and test it, right? And, but we have not talked about the deformation characteristic. We don't talk about deformation. Actually, deformation means we actually need to do what? Pressure meter test. But for ball powering contracts, I can tell you, for build, so, so many projects I see, nobody do pressure meter test. Okay, we all correlate, we all use in situ tests. I hope you remember what is in situ test to correlate the strength and deformation. Okay, to calculate what negative thing friction, down drag, power shell friction, founding, that, or blah blah blah, all this kind of thing. Okay, and even settlement. Now, what are the SI result and geotechnical parameter required? I already explained to you, right? Even we use alpha CU method, you definitely use the UU test result. You want to use the beta sigma prime method, you need to do the consolidation test to get the over consolidation ratio. Okay? So this you that's why I say actually this should not be the first workshop I do. The first workshop I do must be on soil investigation. Only you understand soil investigation, you can do geotechnical work. Because that's the most fundamental. If you cannot understand soil investigation, I give you soil investigation report, you also don't know how to use it. I ask you to plan soil investigation, you also cannot plan. Okay? 